I'm going to show you five coins that you can grab under a penny right now at the time recording this video. I don't know how long they're going to stay under a penny, so now could be a good time to buy them. Is it sounding interesting? Drop that like, give me a subscribe. These coins could potentially outperform many others. I'm talking 100x to 300x gains. Which ones am I talking about? Have I got you excited for this? You stick around. Uh, before I go into it, new banner. What do you think? I'm not keeping it for sure. But it's all about the vote. If you guys like it from the other one, you know, because I'm trying to go for this whole abundance kind of live law of attraction, you know, got um, using my gains for the people's heads. <laughs> I, just, I love it. You're just sitting at the bar, you know, just chilling with your fat head. If you like that one over the other one, come to the community tab right here on my channel. Come down and vote, you know, because your vote counts. It's all about what you guys think. I want to make this like, I feel like this channel is all of us, not just mine. I'm doing it for you guys. You guys are, are the reason why I keep going. So, yeah. Bus a vote, let me know what you think, if I should keep this one or go back to this flipping old one. <laughs> you like the way I said, <laughs> old one. <laughs> anyway guys, five coins. First one, Star Atlas. This is not financial advice. Right now you're seeing Star Atlas at zero, zero, 001 of a penny, right? You know, I'm English, you got the pound sign. You change it in your own time. 36 billion max supply. The price right now is a 16 million market cap. How high did this go before? I highlighted it for you. Look here, all-time high. Let me highlight this bit as well. 19 pence was its all-time high, right? That's insane pumps. If it go That's a giga pump if it goes back. If it goes back to there, because, you know, look, take this, look, watch what you're doing. Times 10 is a penny. No, yeah. <laughs> times 10 is a penny. Times 100 is 11 pence, right? I said 19 pence. You're probably 170 times your money back. It's insane gains. Should Star Atlas go there? For those that are new, what is Star Atlas? It's a play to earn. It's a whole, actually grab up their Twitter. It's a play to earn game that focuses on, it's, if you've seen the new game on Xbox, Starfield, it's a bit like that. It's a bit like No Man's Sky, a bit like Star Citizen. And I feel like this is going to be epic. This is the first sort of space, out of space exploration game that we have that involves play to earn. I mean, can you earn? I'm sure you can earn. You know, you can buy some NFT uh, spaceships, fly around and stuff. That's just an example of one of the, like, maybe like a mini game in there. I don't know. But they've got loads of different videos showcasing all the different gameplay footage of this thing. And I really think it's going to perform extremely well. I'm just coming down here. There's some new things happened over the last few days. I haven't checked it, you know. What's this guy doing here? Let's quickly forward it a bit. Show some gameplay. You can show me some running around. You see, so here's a quick example. Look at this. That's the founder, right? I think it's epic. This car looks amazing. It reminds me of Back to the Future for some reason. I don't know why, like an old style, you know, 1980s type of car. I think it's great. I think you're going to see loads of players come and play this. I'm going to play this when, it, when you know, when Alpha comes out or beta, when it's available for people to just play. I know there's like a beta now, but you need to have like, you know, and be invited and all that stuff. So when they make it free to everyone, for everyone to play, I'm going to be excited for this and I'm going to come and play it. So super excited for this. It looks phenomenal. And I do believe we will see massive pumps when the gaming narrative kicks in. This is your gaming play. If you want a narrative, you need a strong narrative in this next cycle. Gaming will be one of them. Star Atlas is your pick under a penny. Under a penny. Next coin. Boom. Layer AI. You can grab it for 008 under a penny. Up 5%. This is my thing. I'm saying, look, look out for AI coins. They're slowly creeping up. This is what they do. They don't just have an insane giga pump like 550%. <laughs> People want that. But it happens in small fragments. You know, 5% one day. Next day is like 3%. Day after is 10%. And then it's like 2%. Then it's 12%. It just creeps up. Next thing you know, layer AI is sitting on like 50 pence. <laughs> so layer AI is the next one. Have a quick look at this. This is looking to, dis uh, to disrupt uh, Google. And where's my little thing? This is looking to disrupt Google and Amazon. When you think about everything that we do online, Google and Amazon are sort of like the back end of, you know, let me just click on it. Uh, is it here? Is it business? The business? Uh, the Google and Amazon are on the back end when it comes to our data. So this is basically looking to give us back our data right here. Layer AI, time tested business model. So data is a set. Uh, yeah, data is a set to become an asset. Is that right? It's set to become an yeah. Uh, that powers the AI revolution. The increasing demand for high quality data to improve AI models is likely to lead to new companies creating uh, a lot of value. So right now, Google, uh, Amazon, they hold a huge amount of the data, and they sell your data. You know, because you ain't, if you want to use Gmail, whatever it is, you have to give them your data. So, bang the mic, and then they sell it. 
and you don't take no profits out of that. So what Layer AI is doing is using artificial intelligence to make us have the power of our own data. So when I go online and I'm looking on different websites and stuff, they now can't see it because I'm using Layer AI's protocol, you know, because they've got like the, v, uh, what's it called? The, the VPN server, all of that stuff. And then I can sell my data to these guys, the big bosses, the Googles and the, 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 the Metas and the, the whatnots, the Amazons. And then you sell it to them and they're doing it in capsules. You can create, you can buy these NFT capsules. You can use them for many different things to come in the future. I'll talk about that in a second, but this is what we need to look at. Look, big tech players, Meta, Google, Amazon, and others already created trillions in value from collecting and selling user data that the users never directly benefited. You didn't benefit nothing when you went on to flipping Facebook. All of a sudden, they're selling your data. What did you gain? <laughs> Make me tut and all sorts. <laughs> For uh, building a decentralized solution where users choose to product uh, to productize. That's weird. Uh, the earn from their sorry and earn from their data uh, opens untapped sources of income. We may see a new form of income. And it's, it could be something so simple, just like the data. Like when you go on AliExpress or eBay and you search, or you just go on Google, you just search something on Pinterest, all of a sudden you don't see them ads pop up anymore about, oh, buy this and buy that, because they don't have your data. Unless you sell it to them in a capsule, just take that, and boom. Yeah, 600 pound. You, you want to see, so, see what sofa I'm looking at? Yeah, 40 quid. Yes, yeah, you want to you wanna keep seeing it? Every day, 40 quid. Every time you click, you pay me 40 pound. 40 pound per click. Can you imagine? Well, maybe AI could, uh, a layer AI could allow this to happen. So I'm bullish on this project. I own some of this, you know, for disclosure. I think you guys know anyway, if you watch my channel. I just see big things happening for this project. So if you're new, come over to this. You've got a little staking thing here. So what happens is you buy your tokens. You can then stake them to earn capsule fragments. And when you get a certain amount of fragments, you can then get, should I log in? I'm quickly log in. You can get some capsules. I'm just quickly log in. I'm logging real quick for you. <laughs> just real quick. You can see nothing's quick. <laughs> I'm on. Uh, let me just quickly change network. Uh, let me real quick. And click on this one here. And then here's the Binance Like this. And then that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, have to, I have to log in. I'm really, really fast. So, because I'm going to show you. Look, you collect some of these little uh, credits. Depending on how many you're staking, you get a certain amount per hour. Yeah. And then you come over to redeem. And then you can redeem. Some t uh, some capsules. Like I've got ninety four. I've been staking these like a boss. Man's got ninety four tokens. <laughs> no, ninety four capsules. Look, uh, uh, if I get another five more fragments of this one, it creates another token and a token, and then that was saying ninety five, right? So because I've been staking, I can I can tell you now, ninety four. This will probably give me another three to four capsules, and these capsules are what you need to get involved in the whole next era of staking and everything else on this pot on this thing that's going to allow us to use the data and everything else that blockchain and oh, let's go to the top so data is an economic backbone for the digital age the biggest modern tech has said all that companies in the world however uh, the data okay it's expected that data will become even more valuable due to the artificial intelligence ai boom that the tech sector is experiencing in the up and coming uh, decades ai, AI requ uh, requires advanced data to train more sophisticated algorithms companies that uh, supply high quality data will reap the benefits of this surge seriously pay attention guys because if a layer ai manages to get on top of that <sighs> That's all I can say. There's some serious money that can be made over here. So blockchain emerged uh, as a means of innovation in decentralization power, technology, cap technology, capital, decision making, everything else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, tokenization. I like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, didn't say any more on that. It just goes down to this part and talk about what I showed you before, right? So the layer AI capsule. I thought I was going to say more on the capsules. Let's click on the com economy. Uh, I'm just talking about okay these are different things you can use it for like machine learning manufacturing advertising everything else because uh, this does hit the advertising space as well essentially ecosystem okay ecosystem income every sustainable ecosystem requires income source and only then can sustainable value be created right so layer ai has diverse income f funnels okay making it not reliant on any particular cause and robust uh, against volatility. So these are the capsules that you're gonna mint, these NFTs, and then you can use them to make more money in the future with doing different things, cash flow. That's why they call it cash flow. Layer AI stakers among a variety of utilities. Yeah. <laughs> 
uh, uh, get power of the ecosystem treasury. The ecosystem treasury is fed by certain eco, uh, ecosystem income funnels. Okay, it said the same thing. So buybacks, burns. No, that's not telling me what I want to say. I want to talk about the, the, the token, the capsules. Where's the capsules? Not telling me the capsules. What are these things? Technology. No, thinking technology. <laughs> Is it this? <laughs> Layer A, a build of revolution. <laughs> I can't bother to read in a, a ZK roll up as well. I forgot about that. This is a this is a layer two ZK. Oh, I forgot about that. Layer two. Because you know ZK in itself is another whole thing. I forgot about that. That's gonna make it more powerful. Or basically basically it showed a little like it was like this, a little diagram like this that showed how when you as in the staking, when you have the token here we go. No, here we go. Hold on, here we go. So you can get your t uh, capsules, like farm the credits, get the NFTs, and then once you've done that, you'll get the NFTs, let like farm rewards validate in layer two, validate in layer ZK layer two, okay? Delegate access to enable passive more more passive rewards. So basically these tokens are gonna offer more passive rewards, right? <laughs> I should have just said that. Look, you look into it in your own time. This is another coin. I've been talking too much on this. I just like it. I, just, I believe. I seriously believe. I believe. I believe. I believe. Zero, zero, 008. If this was to do a hundred X on your money, this right here, this 2.7 million, take it, times it, times it by 10, is 27 million, 271 million market cap. Maybe a 300 X puts this at 246. That 700 million market cap, just under a billion, is very doable. Watch this space, guys. Watch Layer AI. The next coin that you can grab under a penny. Boom. Clintex. It's another AI. These are the narratives. You've got the gaming narrative. You've got the uh, AI narrative. There's two strong narratives. They're going to be powerful in this space. Haven't spoken about Clintex in a while. This is all about using artificial intelligence with medicine, trying to speed up clinical trials. When we were all sitting in that massive event of, uh, you know, 19, all sitting there locked up. We're locked up. They won't let me out, no. You know what I mean? Just singing that for you. <laughs> we were locked up. We just could do nothing. But had this been here before... Before it all happened, it would have sped up the clinical trials. We would have found a solution quicker. We wouldn't, wouldn't be sitting there for like two, three years. It felt like that. So, Clintex, it says currently efficiency, current, currently efficiency issues in clinical trials. And we know that because you'd be sitting there at home for like an hour, a, a year and two hours. <laughs> I tried to make it sound long. It didn't work. Uh, uh, costing between 600000 to $8 million a day. They spend up to $8 million a day on clinical trials, trying to find remedies and cures, and a significant, significantly delaying the delivery of new medicine to partners. Now, AI is going to speed that up. Right here, boom, in front of your face. You've got an artificial intelligent project that deals with clinical trials, speeding it up. I can't stress this enough. Of all, all, if you're looking for a way to speed up medicine with AI, this is it right here, Clintex, right? Clintex, uh, Clinical Trials Intelligence is a distributed technology platform that incorporates predictive data analytics, machine learning, and the innovative use of smart contracts to drive significant quality and operational improvements. Let me tell you something right now, and I, I seriously I swear to you, I believe this. If you get something like the NHS, approach Clintex and say, you know what, you are the only thing in crypto right now that does something with medicine and AI, and you, you, you're you onto something here, we want to use your space to start doing smart contracts with AI machine learning to help us speed up clinical trials, yeah, can we also put our data on your systems, can we use you as a back end, <sighs> This is gonna blow. Why do you think I'm holding on to this? I don't care. People don't talk about it. This I'm talking about it. I'm talk. Listen, if I'm talking about it, you, best believe there's something there. <laughs> I don't care about anyone else. If I'm talking about, it, I know. Trust me. There's nothing else touching medicine right now. Medicine's so important. Isn't it mad? When you think about our lives, when you get sick and ill, and you know medicine's important. I don't care what you think. There might not be a, a trend now, but it will come. When you get sick and ill, you call up your doctors and whatever, you go, or you go to the shops, you get your paracetamols, you know, your, 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 your cocodamols, <laughs> you use your medicine every single day. You know, the biggest industries are the ones that tap into huge amounts of money that's constantly on a flow. It's flowing constantly. Food. Food industry is massive.
right? Which is why supply chains like your V-chains and your Morpheuses will do well. Now you're talking about medicine. You're talking about people's lives. You're talking about their health. You're talking about NHSs. You're talking about hospitals, all of the ambulances, all of these people that have to give you medicine when they drive to you to help you. This is what it's trying to tackle into. There's a billion, trillion, quadrillion, bumper billion. <laughs> There's a serious amount of money in medicine. So I'm serious when I believe that this is going to perform extremely well in the future, especially when you're using artificial intelligence. I'll have to look at the Twitter and stuff later on. But right now, sitting closely under a penny, this is probably going to go up. This probably won't even say a penny by the time I show you. Because, you know, your patrons see it first. If you want to get in early, become a patron. They've seen this, you've seen it before. If you watch my channel, you've seen it before. If you're new, welcome in. These are the things I'm trying to show you. I'm trying to show you opportunities where you can put little money. You don't need to put crazy money. You know, 200 quid, not 200,000 pounds, not 20,000 investment, just a quick 200 pounds. Boom, you get 20,000 CTI. When CTI, it just has to go back to all-time high for you. All-time high, look, 28 pence. Sitting at a penny now, that gives you 28 times your money back. Nice. Nice passive income. That's That helps someone. Burping. I've got some burp action going on oh <laughs> so you know this is what i'm thinking i think it's gonna go higher than 28 pence look at this look 191 million max supply you never get more than that a fully diluted market cap puts this at 1.8 1.8 million i can see this doing 100x maybe even more watch out for clintex because medicine is an important thing in our lives and you know so i bet you use some form of medicine today i don't know what you use if it's hay fever whatever you use you use some sort of medicine today and if you ain't today, you can use it tomorrow. You watch. So that's that one right there. Let's have a look. Next one. The fourth coin. Fabwell. It's another gaming uh, narrative. This is like your gala games. If you, you know, if you're unsure on gala right now and you want to look into another type of gaming hub, Fabwelt could be your next one. This is a gaming hub. So we've got games happening. I might do a little play to, play to earn video on this to show you some of this. Got first person shooters, something like your wave race, like on N64. It looks cool. Uh, you know, check it out kind of thing. Like it's nice and shiny and polished. But this just looks fun. And I can see people playing this to earn. Whether they earn Fab Welt tokens, like Welt, because Welt is the ticker, right? Whether they earn Welt tokens or whatever it is, this looks fun. And if they get more game developers on board, great. Great, if they do. So, you know, I like this. I see it doing really well in the future. I mean, what does 100x do for something like Fabwelt? So right now, and again, I'm showing you these low-cap, high-risk, high-reward plays. You don't have to buy them. You're not forced. I'm just showing you this high-risk, up 28% in one day. <sighs> That's all I can say. <laughs> if this does 100... Let me just grab up Fabwelt over here. Boom. Fabwelt. W-E-L-T, Fabwell, my, my coin scenarios, right? If this does 100x, 100x, it will go up to a 251 million market cap. What I'm saying is if people are unsure on Gala and they're looking for another gaming hub, they might come over to Fabwell that's already got playable games that people are enjoying and probably more games to come in the future. They might come over here and, you know, start investing in this. And if they do, you could probably see this go to a 250, 200, uh, 251 million market cap. That's 100 times your money back from today. And then, you know, it sits on a $1.16 price, right? That could be a thing. It really could be a thing. Right now, it's under a penny. Oh, and British pounds under a penny. So I'm bullish on this. Max supply, 500 million. Market cap, 2 million. They're all low. Look at this. That was 2 million. Clintex was 800K. Uh, layer AI was 2.7 million. What is this? Uh, Star Atlas. Okay, Star Atlas has been the biggest one, 16 million. So we're dealing with low cap gems that have huge potential to blow. So yeah, I'm bullish on this. I think it could do well. My last coin, my fifth and final coin that you can grab under a penny right now at the time of recording this video is this Jasmine. Jasmine has like a cult. <laughs> It's just a cult. You, you come into Jasmine, you're locked up in the shed. <laughs> just lock you up. You've got no choice but to like Jasmine. You don't open that door. You, you get locked in the chokey. <laughs> you just, that's what Jasmine's like. Just throw you in the chokey. <laughs> You've got no choice but to like it. <laughs> you know, be scraping in the walls. Like, how many days you've been there? <laughs> Five days. <laughs> anyway, Jasmine 
it is like a cult. 145 million market cap, but it's under a penny right now. Can this go above a penny? Well, if it does like a 4X, that puts it at a penny. I think that we will see this. Let me just do 100X on this. It could be, I don't, look, people just seem to, I get it. Many people are, I don't understand, Jasmine. Look at the site. The site looks stupid. It looks weird. Doesn't make sense, right? But the reality of Jasmine is it's it's trying to do Internet of Things in, in uh, and they're trying to cover Japan, right? And Japan's always been hard. I don't know. Has Japan always been hard when it comes to crypto? I don't know if there's a lot of trading going on in crypto. I don't know if a certain amount of tokens can be accepted in crypto over uh, in Japan. So Jasmine comes along and says, well, you know what? Maybe we can do something with Japan or become a popular cryptocurrency in Japan where we become the center of Japan, start using Internet of Things. Now, that's powerful. I know people don't think so right now. I know there's not a massive trend for Internet I IoT right now. But you imagine in the future, and you've got to look at it like this, everything's becoming smart. Well, I, I'm, I'm looking to buy a fridge, right? <laughs> a refrigerator. It's going to cost me £2,000. It's one of them family hubs, you know, the Samsung family hub. You've got the whole little touch screen on the thing as well, and it's all, smart. It's all plugged in, is what I'm saying. It's all plugged in, right? And I can see what's in my fridge. I don't have to, you know, anyway. So if you have a token that's plugged into Internet of Things, whether it's your washing machine, your gas, your electric, everything, it's just in the center of a country as well. And then it, you can use this token for everything. That's where Jasmine comes into play. I don't know if it's going to happen for sure. But I don't want to miss out if it does. And that's it. Data democratization puts data sovereignty in the hands of consumers. It says the big wave fourth industrial revolution. So now that the big wave has begun to swallow the world, all goods, people and services are connected via the internet and continue to expand into all areas. Yeah. Okay. Does it explain what this does? They've got another thing right here. If I click on, in, is it here? Click on this tab here. And then they've got this Jasmine Global, right? <coughs> Have a quick look. So it says down here, real quick, just for, you know, new people. We're delighted to announce the listing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, build as Japan's Bitcoin. Jasmine is a tokenized platform that champions the democratization of data by combining blockchain and Internet of Things technology to provide an infrastructure that allows anyone to use data safely and securely. Okay, so it's focusing more on data. See, I saw it as like, the whole Internet of Things kind of thing. Jasmine aims to re regain data sovereignty for all. Okay, so this is sort of like your layer AIs then as well, right? The data is a powerful thing. It's an important thing. With the innovative use of blockchain technology, we can create a decentralized and more demo democratic, <laughs> did I say it wrong last time, a use of data where you will be able to store and control your data in a safe and secure manner, safely and securely manage and control your own devices, yeah, which is internet things, provide safe and secure use of data. Maybe there's something going on in Japan where the government have like serious access i don't know if you're in japan watching right now what's your government like do they have serious control over your devices like mean like they can see everything that you're doing because uh, i know china's got a different type of like community in china you know they got that whole social tokens you get social credits your base your credits go up you buy things and do things based on your social credit and your social credit score goes up based on the things that you do in real life which is mad right can you imagine being like you go to the toilet <laughs> and you get a social credit for the going to the I'm just saying like that's the sort of stuff that's going on over there in China. I don't know if the same thing is over there, but it does start to hit you because you know you can't just imagine if you want to go on holiday and you can't because you haven't got enough social credits. If a world like that comes to the rest of the world, if it comes to the UK and America and everything else, that's a big flipping problem. That's serious control. That's the government telling you what you can and can't do because you don't have enough credits because you was naughty last week. You better go and sit in the corner. <laughs> I just, that's the reality. What kind of life is that? We can't do things because we ain't got a certain amount of credits. If you can have a system where a digital currency gives you more control, not just of your devices, of your life, then I see a use case for it. And if this, if this is, provides safe and secure use of your data under clear rules. So a lot of the time, these social credits that you're going to be issued are going to be based on things that you do, but not just online, offline as well, but everything's digital now, right? So if you do something online that's bad, that they don't like, that will affect your score. So this, I suppose, might help it. I don't know. I'm just, 
I, all I know is there's a mad thing going on over in China right now. How Jazmy works. So your lot data, or your data lot, <coughs> it says merchant pay you in Jazmy to use your data. Cool. So yeah, internet things. Cool. I like it. Look, right now, 003. If Jazz, if Jasmine, let's just grab it up. It doesn't need to go into insane, insane games to make you amazing, crazy money. Fifty X on this would even be. What's a fifty X? A fifty X puts this at <laughs> a nine billion market cap. Yeah, fifty X, maybe a hundred X. What's a hundred X? I said a hundred X is what? Hundred X is an eighteen billion market cap. Thirty seven cents price. Do you think it's possible? Drop your comments down below. Do you have Jasmine? Anyway, those are the top five coins that you can grab under a penny. I kind of broke it down in detail. I wanted people, new people to come to kind of understand what they're about. But I do see Jasmine more on the internet of things. Like, I can see it, like, being plugged in. But they're trying to tackle the data thing over in the Japan side. So, yeah, guys, that was my top five. If it was helpful to you, drop that like. Give me a subscribe. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you all. Become a Patreon. The link is in my info section. Click it. Come over. Highly recommend you do. I have seven tiers. You can take your pick which tier. There's loads. You can come over like this. Loads of different tiers. Uh, I recommend this one here, the yellow one. It was highlighted. Most popular tier. This is what most people are going for. My exclusive VIP partner tier. Why? It unlocks all my posts. You can see everything. When I'm buying, selling, staking. I don't know. Memeing. <laughs> Pre-selling. I don't know. Whatever I'm doing, you see it all here. You don't is nothing this also gives you access to uh, excel sheets so if you click on uh, when you come onto uh, patreon they got this new little tab now called collections you can click on collections you see all of this you'll get stealth buy alerts <coughs> just made it easy for you to come and click when i do a buy alert you can see what i'm buying all in these little collections here like glass node analysis you get all of that right the crypto spreadsheets because you see me do spread use spreadsheets in different videos you get access to that uh, if you can afford it my super alerts tier Gives you access to the VIP group. Big money over there. Big brains that know how to make money. I'm looking at a coin right now that another millionaire showed me. It's interesting. I might, I might buy some. You can grab millions of this token right now and make it cheap. Deals with the, uh, the, the, the government. Deals with banks. It's a, it's a powerful project uh, on the XDC chain as well. So, you know, I might look into that and share it with you guys as well. But if I buy it, but, you know, we'll talk about it over there. We'll talk to them about it over there. Just share them what, what's being said. So they have the opportunity to talk about it, get involved and things like that. So yeah, thank you for watching. <laughs> and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Cheers.